What's up guys? Welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and today is the series finale of Man About Cake. No! I know, it's the very last episode. So, I'm gonna take you back to the first. We're gonna recreate the first cake I ever made on this show with an updated twist. I'm gonna build a five-tier chocolate cake filled with vanilla buttercream, finished with drizzly rubbies and sugar flowers. Let's do it! Is it gonna take us 14 hours again? I hope not. <laughs> All right, first I'm gonna break down a 10 inch chocolate cake. My famous cake recipe, it's so good. Who wants garbage cake? Yum! I don't think we can do frizzies with this, it's too big. Uh, let's find out. I don't know, <laughs> I can't do it, it's like a wreath. No, like try it. That's not gonna work. Try it, try it. Catch Throw it to Tommy. Uh, Catch it on your arm. Oh. No. He got it. Here you go. Hey, why are you wearing gloves, Joshua? So here's what happened. I was cutting through a cake and I was talking, the middle of the cake was frozen. So I was trying to get through it, and when I put my hand like this, the knife went and I had to get stitches. Gross. Ew. It was really gross. I like kill build everyone. Did you just say it was a red velvet recipe? Ew, no, we <laughs> threw it all away. Okay. Well, I'm gonna clean up my crumbs, and then we're gonna fill this guy. Ooh, garbage <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna fill this guy with vanilla buttercream and a little bit of melted chocolate. With the tiniest spatula ever. <laughs> I love this guy. This is going in my suitcase. All right. Buttercream. I always use really little tools. People always say, why are you using such a little spatula? Because it's precision, you know? I thought it was because it makes the cake look big. All right, we're gonna drizzle some chocolate. Once this cake sets and you cut it, this will be like a nice little crunch. It's so good. It's kind of got a Jackson Pollock quality to it here. I was gonna say, it's like being at the psychiatrist. What do you see? <laughs> a messy spider web. It's a drunk spider. All the spiders are drunk. I gotta catch some flies. I'm starving. <laughs> Pull over at McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just gonna make my house right here. I can shoot silk out of my butt. I'll live wherever I want. <laughs> Last drizzle here. Go hard. I'm gonna get this guy in the cooler to firm up completely, then we'll trim the sides, crumb coat, final coat. Let's go, buddy. God, it's heavy. <laughs> Is this what we filled the original cake with too? I don't remember. We filled the original cake with chocolate buttercream, chocolate ganache, and drizzly drippies. Did you have to look that up or did you just remember? I remember. Do you remember every one of our cakes? I wanna say yes but I don't want a quiz. Oh good, cause it's quiz time! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't feel like doing that. Gloves. Oh shit, I don't have gloves on. Sorry, I'm not serving this to anybody, just these fools, and they'll be fine. One time we shattered a bowl and glass went everywhere and Tommy was like, I'm still gonna eat that cake, and he did. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was in the ER for a month. <laughs> Trying to pass that one piece of glass. Yeah. He ate one giant chunk. <laughs> of the stuff we've done on this show that nobody has seen. <laughs> we should tell stories since this is the last episode. Oh yeah. What stories do we have? Like the fact that I actually didn't get to deliver your wedding cake and Lisa, my woman about cake, had to do it. <laughs> but I had booked that before you told me the date of your wedding. Yeah, no, I only had that planned for nine months. Hey, I, I made you an awesome wedding cake. Yes, you did. And you charged us a very fair amount. <laughs> Zero. $6,342. No, He's lying. I did not charge you guys. That was my gift to you. Oh. Brandon, too. You got a shoe cake. Yeah, you got a shoe cake. Tommy's the one who got the crap into the deal here. It's he true. had a baby, he got engaged, he got married, and we weren't filming it during any of that. <laughs> <laughs> he did get that big piece of glass. <laughs> he got a, yeah, he got a piece of glass. All right, I'm gonna clean up my crumbs and we're gonna give this a crumb coat. And I'm gonna keep my gloves on. Uh, more stories, let me think. 
The croak and boosh cake. It's probably one. That of was a rough day. Favorite days. <laughs> yeah, Joshua was getting all angry at us. There's probably. I was getting angry at myself. Yes, you it, weren't getting angry at us. It would not. Could not get it to work. Big time. <laughs> we just stopped. <laughs> Hey, we got and then we got really silly and made that big cake. Yeah, that and was we couldn't stop part. laughing. It was like 10 o'clock at night. Could not stop laughing because you were singing the theme song to Jurassic Park. That's how the volcano sounds. Is that her voice? Yeah. Yeah. Lay off me. I'm starving. <laughs> and that's the hardest I've ever laughed on set. We were delirious. Yeah. I actually love that season. We did the Versace cake. Oh, we did Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Your sister's Jurassic cake. Jurassic World. We did my sister's cake. My sister was in town. So Josh was a lot shorter, a little bit chubbier. He had a real nice butt cut, you know, back in the <laughs> 90s. Whoa, whoa, what's happening here? No, 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 you don't get her. Mermanderson Cooper. Mermanderson Cooper, that's right. Do you know what his name is? What? Beefcake. Do you have Mermanderson Cooper's Uh Yeah, he's on my desk at work. <laughs> and people come in and they're like, why? And I'm like, because <laughs> I have no reason. Like, he's just there. That's it. All right, I'm gonna get some of the cooler to firm up and then we'll do a final coat. You've been using that disco paper a lot lately. Yeah, you have. Well, I needed a board to put this on and that's the only one I had was <laughs> this sparkly one. Disco paper is the paper I use. Disco paper is great. Disco paper can be abused. Disco paper is a state. I'm gonna get all my songs out today because I'm not gonna be able to have songs later. You're gonna sing at home while Rochelle's cooking. No, like... she's she doesn't let me sing in the house anymore for no reason. But once the baby's born, <gasps> that's right, James is having a baby. <laughs> a little girl named Joshua. Uh, it's a little girl, <laughs> but we, we haven't finalized the name yet. I think it's gonna be Joshua. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the Halloween episodes the most. Aw, those are my favorite. Did you really cut holes in my tablecloth? Who's under there? It's not me. Not me. Not me. Ah! All right. All right, we're gonna get her in the cooler and let her firm up completely then cover and fondant. But while she's chilling, we're gonna make some chocolate skulls. I found this awesome, it's actually an ice mold that's uh, little skulls. This is not a chocolate mold, so it's not gonna be as tight of a seal, but it is food safe. My point is, is that some of the chocolate's probably gonna squeeze out. So when we pop these out, we'll have to trim them a little bit. So I'm gonna use some white coating chocolate here in a piping bag. I can't even tell that stuff's squeezing in there. It is, see? Yeah. Well, well, okay. See, it's a mess when I do it like this. You have to put it down in there. It makes for a really interesting video. Yeah. Trust us, something's happening. Yeah. Are you guys making fun of me? I'm this, just doing my job. It could be as informative if this were an audio book right now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna bang this down and we're gonna get all the air. So now I have more room to put more chocolate. What's funny? Nothing. Just Nothing. say it. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna get these in the cooler, let them firm up completely, and then we'll pop them out, we'll trim them, and then we'll pay them gold, of course. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> okay, our chocolate skulls are set up. They've been in the fridge for about 20 minutes. It's the big reveal. It's the big reveal. Now remember, these are supposed to be ice cubes, so they might come out clear. No, <laughs> it's chocolate. It's just gonna be kind of messy because they're not made for chocolate, but we'll clean them up. Spence is killing me. All right, there it is. Who's that little Ooh. face? See what I mean though? See all this stuff? So we'll clean it up. This one's got like turkey neck. They all have like headbands on. Here, let's do these two. So I'm just gonna take a knife and just clean them up. There. And then I can take my thumb and just get this little line out. There he is. Hey, look. Mama! 
Oh, that makes you really sad. <laughs> Let's don't do that. Cake Slayer, knife in a skull, wearing some gloves now. Can I eat that Matrix nub? You can. Who do you want? No. Oh, yeah. Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, that hold has on. literally happened 0. 0.00 times. I normally put your eye out, it goes over your head. Hey Joshua, you want to hear some viewer comments and questions? Yes, please. Okay. So, cool for cats. What's up, cool? Says, with all the ugliness in the world today, JJR and Man About Cake Vids are my medicine. Aww. Purple heart, blue heart, green heart, yellow heart, emoji that didn't come through, black heart, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. That's really sweet. That makes me so, so happy. Jessica Francis says, Hi, Jessica. You and your team are so amazing and make the best cake, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. <laughs> When I'm having a bad day, I watch your videos and it makes me feel so much better. Smiley Aww. face, smiley face, smiley face. Love how obsessed you are over golden sprinkles. Smiley face, black heart, smiley so face. Speaking of, <laughs> gold, no sprinkles yet. Yet. Tua Tua says, you are my favorite cake man. Aww. Thanks a lot for sharing your work with us. Multiple pink hearts. <laughs> And then last, the Lautner family says, wow, I love your cakes. I wish I could bake, but I'm only 11. You can bake at 11. Well, just have your parents help you. Yeah, I don't want anybody to burn themselves. Look how cool this looks. Yes. I don't remember there being skulls on the original one. There wasn't, this is just, this isn't, I'm not remaking the original one. It's just the same style. Inspired by. Yes. What was your favorite cake, James? And you can't say your wedding cake. Oh. Sorry. You gotta pick another one. Because obviously that was your wedding cake. It was for you. So you gotta pick one that wasn't for you. Not the shoe either. My favorites are manly cake. With uh, the skull with and the, the Pop-Tarts. I would say the shoe cake. Do you remember that one? The fashion cake. Fashion yes. cake, yes. We and then those. I would say the three monster one. Oh, I loved that cake. That one was pretty good. I think the Christmas dome cake was pretty good. And now I'm gonna play a Christmas song for Brandon. <laughs> I love that video so much. <laughs> I show people all the time, like, how do they do that? I play a mean bubble cheese straw. <laughs> we are gonna dust some sugar flowers. So you can make your own sugar flowers. I like to do both. I like to make, I like to buy. These I bought, but I always buy them in white and then I sort of manipulate them. So I'm gonna dust the white ones and put some gold in some of the centers, of course, because I love gold. So I have petal dust here, this is pink. I actually did these all in rainbow colors, but I'm only showing you a few. They're kind of a pain to dust, but they look really nice. So I do it over a paper towel so we save the rest of the dust. I'm gonna go really, really heavy here because I want it to be bright. Just smash a bunch of dust onto it. No one eats the sugar flowers. Now you tell me that? I thought I was eating healthy. It's like a vegetable. <laughs> All right, we gotta get the backside too. All right, I'm gonna put some gold in the center of this. We'll move the petals away. Brandon, do you have any big plans once we, once we quit with the show? Yeah, I'm gonna make my own show, but without cake. What's it gonna be about? It's gonna be about building epic couch forts. I would watch that show yeah. in a heartbeat. Ta-da! Ooh. Ah. All right, we're gonna do this one orange. I love these little roses, they're super cute. A lot of times when I dust too, I'll cross dust. I'll put some pink in it anyway, so it makes like a cool color. Cross destination. Yeah, it just dumped on me, I guess. James, what are you gonna do when, when we wrap this show up? Uh, I'm actually making a new show too. Oh yeah? What's yeah. your show? It's gonna be a lot like this one, except it's all about sirloins and T-bones and stuff. Man about steak. Okay, got it. Or I was gonna do this other one about taking care of your lawn in the fall. Oh yeah? Man about rake. Got it. All right, now we're gonna do some leaves as well. They're a pretty nice color, but I wanna give them a little bit of life. We were shooting a pilot. It's a show where we constantly mess up, don't do things right, it's called Man About Mistake. <laughs> um, that would also be called this show. See, this kid's just a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna dust the rest of my flowers and grab my cake, put some fondant on it. So I have a piece of white fondant here, I'm gonna roll this to an eighth of an inch thickness with a little bit of snow! snow! <laughs> powdered sugar and or cornstarch. 
That's the last time we're gonna say snow. No, no more snow not. here anymore. No, it's not. I say it every day. Do you say it when you're baking by yourself? Yep. I'll do it on Instagram. You guys go follow me. At Joshua John Russell. Shameless plug. Anything else you want to plug right now? Maybe there might be a new show starring yours truly. What's that called? Coming to YouTube. It's called You've Been Deserted. Everything's down there. Go follow. We'll still be doing cakes. Still be silly. New set. And we're gonna do some more dessert stuff too. So not just all cake, I think. I don't really have the whole thing fleshed out yet, but it's gonna be a new show. I'm not, I'm still gonna be here, I promise. It sounds like a totally legit plan. You know what I need? Bubble popper? I don't popper? think we have a bubble popper in here, do we? Wait, it's... why do you need one? To pop the bubble, oh. Pop them bubbles, pop, pop them bubbles, Man. pop them bubbles, pop, pop Man. them bubbles. If you want more bubbles, you know that you're in trouble, Man. cause I'm gonna pop you right here in the double. Pop them bubbles, pop, pop them bubbles. Pop them bubbles, pop, pop them Break bubbles. Break it down. Do you remember my first episode? When I was like, girl, yes. it's gonna be so good, and you'll make my voice really. Can you can we play that? Yeah, do it right now. Let's what do you wanna say? Roll that footage. Girl, this cake's gonna be so good. I'm gonna put that buttercream in between the layers just like you like it. Thick too, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, since you mentioned your new show, I actually have a new show too. What is it, James? Well, it's like where there's this guy, and he's always doing stuff at like funerals and after people are dead. It's a man about wake. That's so dumb. <laughs> James. I think it's over, dude. Nah, you're right. I do have this one other show, or... though. It's about me and this Canadian rapper. <laughs> Man, Man about, about Drake. Drake. <laughs> James, weren't you pitching a show about a guy that like always commits to things and then never shows up? Man about Flake? <laughs> he also has danger. And he loves cereal. <laughs> it's quite a character. All right, let me grab my cake and then we'll... Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? Here we go. What do you, well, you tell me? Um, either the Christmas reindeer one. Oh. That one, or. For my niece. Yeah, or the dream catcher. Oh yeah, that, that one was cool. Yeah, that one. What about you guys? What's your favorite cake? Put it in the description box below. Do you want to hear some viewer comments from the very first episode? Yeah. I decided to go back and look some of them up. Just oh, to that's see if, rad, let's yeah. do it. So Jonathan Jokum says, Hi, Jonathan. Uh, I love this. Could you please speak just a little more slowly for those of us who aren't American? <laughs> really great video. I do talk really fast. You do talk fast. Sorry. But for the rest of this episode, maybe speak slowly so Jonathan can understand. Did you guys hear me when I said I have a new show called You've Been Deserted. <laughs> okay, all right, we got it. <laughs> They'll cut all that out. All right, Carlene Fernandez. Hi, Carlene. Says, make a glaze today. Okay. There we go, got that wrapped up. <laughs> there are recipes for glaze on blueprint.com. Uh, Kendra Kohlberg says, he reminds me of Ben Wyatt. Ben Wyatt. From Parks and Rec. Oh, Adam Scott, okay. He's a, he's a good looking guy. I'll take that. Fab and Sass says, Hey, Fab and Sass. Am I the only one that reads the comments before leaving my own to avoid repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over yeah, and over? You, yes, you're the only one. IDK guys, Tanya A says, Love the technique! <laughs> Thank you! And then one final, uh, final thing to wrap up. Uh, wonderful says, Thick. <laughs> What does that mean? How did they spell it? It's T H I C C. Uh oh, that was about me, I think. I think it might be. I'm not, am I thick? I don't even know what really that means, I think. I think it means you're like. Thick is when a person has fat in the right places, creating sexy curves. <laughs> I don't have any sexy curves. <laughs> Great. Okay, now I'm gonna get the rest of my tears. We're gonna stack this baby. My cake is all stacked, and now I'm gonna paint the entire thing with a very thin layer of white chocolate. Drizzly rubbies, and then I'm gonna go over the whole thing with gold dust, and it's gonna look rad. What's your biggest regret from the show, Jane? Well, I'm mad that we never got to have an episode where we uh, competed against each other to yeah. see who could make the cake the best. That's a good one. So that means you guys gotta come on 
you've been deserted and we'll do it. That is an idea. Would you guys do that? Yeah. For yeah. real? Win. Hold yeah. everything. Yes. You heard it, guys. Okay, I have my gold dust, my cake is completely set, and I have two different kinds of brushes. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use, but I want this to be a very light coat, so I'm probably gonna start with this one, but if it's acting up, then we'll go to this one that has a little bit more bristles on it. It's like I'm uncovering artifacts or like dusting bones from a crime scene or something. <laughs> I love it. It looks hauntingly beautiful. It's kind of creepy, but cool. Now it's time to place all of our flowers in our skulls. I'm gonna do it around this tier here, but so that I don't stick wires into the cake, I'm gonna put a thin band of fondant around here, paint that gold, and I'll stick all my flowers into that. That way they're really easy to take off when we cut the cake. This is an aggressive fondant rope. <laughs> You shut up. What are you doing over here? Go back to your hole. I don't like you on this side. I can't see anything over there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some flowers now. Ooh. All right, we're gonna put all of our big flowers in first. All right, I'm gonna finish with all my flowers and then we'll put our skulls in. My series finale cake is complete and I think she turned out hauntingly beautiful. Thank you guys so much for all your years of love and support. Your subscriptions, your questions, your comments meant the world to me. Stay subscribed to this channel because you may see new things in the future. Go subscribe to Blueprint's channel because you'll definitely see me there. And definitely go subscribe to You've Been Deserted. Everything is down below. That's where you'll find me because that's where I'm moving. Let's cut her. Oh wait, do you guys want to see the guys' faces? Come on in, guys! Just kidding, come on in. Yay! Tommy, Brandon, and James. I guess. And actually, there's a lot more people that there's work on the show. There's a huge team. Everyone else, everybody. come in. Come on, We got on. Woman About Cake. Yay, Lisa! Come on, get in here. Louisa in. and Ben. Right here. No, right here. Very, right very there. important members of the team. <laughs> we love you all very much. Oh, uh, this is your cake? Yes! <laughs> no, not my cake! Hey, I didn't even wow. taste it! Hey, I'll eat the flour. It's great. Oh, They're really good. Okay. Does that look okay? <laughs> Just leave me some! Okay, so for this one, let's switch it up. Let's go with, uh... What's up, guys? Welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell. You even did the piano. <laughs> what? <laughs> Super tight. How's my hair look? Oh, <gasps> Brandon. <coughs> there was a raccoon one time that got into my garbage. And it was like a person, I opened the door and he went. <laughs>